Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we explored the dark blue inn and solved the mystery of uh, the paranormal ghosts, I guess. There were ghosts. It's, it's that simple. However, the mystery has one loose thread. We've figured out why the ghosts are there, but we've yet to actually have them pass on and be fulfilled because there's a teapot missing. You look familiar. Do you have a brother or a twin or something? A guy named Loogie, maybe? No, that's not it. Anyway, I'm the greeter here at Plum Park. This park is owned and operated by the Dark Blue Inn. The purest water in all of Prism Park Island Pris Prism Island flows through this park. Speaking of water, my manager asked me to keep an eye out for a missing teapot, but that's above my pay grade. So you haven't seen a teapot around? And nope, I'm just the greeter here. I usually hang out by the entrance. Too bad we don't have a lost and found here. Ooh, I should suggest that. Well, Mario, I guess it's up to us to find that teapot. Yeah, yeah, same old, same old. Mario has to do everything around here. So let's get painting. Now, as you can tell, Plum Park is a little bit weird. The first clue is definitely the music and the coloring and the atmosphere. The purest waters flow here. Are you sure about that, Mr. Greeter Toad? I don't think so. Something seems amiss. Well, let's find out what that could be. Ah, uh, yes. Sure enough, this water doesn't look too pure. Then again, like, who hasn't seen purple water? I mean, I've had many bads where the water's purple and- Ah! No! 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 Okay. I might have seen people have purple bubble baths or whatever. But my baths aren't usually purple. And they don't usually hurt me when I get in. And they certainly don't have enemies hiding in them. Anyway, let's deal with this lot. And although you'll see in battles, I was standing on a lily pad, but lily pads don't exist in a battle. So instead, I'm standing in the pools of poison. Which isn't that great. Thankfully, it doesn't actually do that much, apparently. We'll see how it comes into effect in later, longer battles, I'm sure. But firstly... The bridge is out! There's no way I'm getting risky and soggy! I'm, I'm out of here! So is my... Dialogue, apparently. Well, here we have the cleansing wrap. No cleansing allowed in the cleansing wrappers. The cleansing is for your eyes only, but even those cannot be cleansed. You're not allowed to blink. Blinking is forbidden in the cleansing wrappers. Huh. Okay. Interesting note. I had a failed recording because I... This is the first time recording in Nova in a long time for me, so you're not getting me that easily, Sniffets. So, I've already been a little bit through here and then I realised I messed up. But that replica card is different every time. I originally got the ice pick and I was actually excited to show that off. Because I've already shown off the lucky cat. But I guess we have that to show off now. Yay! Well, whatever thing card you get there, I do strongly recommend you hold on to it. If it does damage at least. I know some of them don't. But hold on to at least one thing card if you haven't already. And I'll just take care of that pink shy guy. And I thought the top of that fence post was a colourless spot. This level, I have to say, this level has some of the trickiest colourless spots to find. But first, so these are the pure waters of beautiful Plum Park, eh? Those guys at the hotel are big fat liars! The park is poisonous! 
Yeah, yeah, I've already taken a dip myself. I didn't believe it at first, but... It's true. They lied to us. Anyway, new car, the e camera times two. You, you, you can guess what that does already. And, um, I, you know what? I'm gonna fight. Nice. Yeah. As you can see, the hammer's still doing the good old more damage than the jump. And this is pretty much every encounter, bar the one you saw earlier, I guess. Here we have a little variety of pretty much all the shy guys. So I'm just going to use an ice fire. Nice and easy. If you fight an enemy while you're on solid ground, then you are not standing in the poison. That didn't kill the sniffer. I'm bad at blocking. No, 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 no. Yes! I blocked you. It still didn't do anything important. So now I'm gonna do a fire flower. And take your birth down once and for all. Oh, wabam. 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 That's probably a little bit overkill now. <laughs> Take this, Ashes. Give me a card. Yeah, damn. Okay. The enemies here. With the large groups of the Sniffets and Shy Guys that you do see, and that I just showed off. Another thing. Double card. It's... Yeah, you get the gist of it. New card. Save for the museum. But with so much enemy ver varieties in each battle, it's a good idea to come back here should you be after those enemy cards for the museum collection. Anyway, off to the side. Seems it's a dead end, but what do we have here? The fountain of life. Let the fountain heal your wounds. Hmm, let's try it out. I was, no, I knew it. It was all a big lie. I was skeptical, but maybe this one was different. No, this poison. Mm, we have to do something about this. We have to find the source of the poison. And I can't be bothered waiting for the lily pad, so I'm just gonna jump over here and talk to you. I hear that some famous pop star is performing in front of the fountain. The shy guys are all about it, but we sniffets are a little more discerning. Jeez, you're being a little bit snobbish there. What about you? I hear they replaced the fountain with some garish teapot. Not really my thing. Tea is coffee's annoying little brother. So you're having coffee, eh? I'll remember that. Trust me, I will remember that. Anyway, moving onwards. Let's take the lily pad for a ride. Head behind the cleansing fountain that you cannot cleanse in. Well, actually, not a fountain, I guess. Cleansing falls? Waters? Rapids? What was it? I do not remember. But what I do see are some buckets. How? How do you get that far without noticing that you don't have a bucket? Oh my goodness, shy guys, they're, they're dumb sometimes, but man, they are cute when they fail. I kind of want to go over there and whack him with my hammer so he dies instantly, but sadly, he has a text box, a speech bubble, which means I cannot kill him. Yeah. So over here, it seems the performance for that popster for that. No, no! Okay, jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. Huh? Oh, right, iframes stop you from getting stunned by the poison. Anyway, I was a. No, no! I'm, I'm struggling with the 3D depth here, guys. It, it's hard, I swear. Okay, get out, get out. Grab the stuff and get out. Okay, anyway, Popstar, performance seems to be here. What do you have to say? Why are you at this performance? Why aren't you doing something about the park? Mario, I had the garden's water had been poisoned, so I came to investigate. <laughs> but I can't find the water source. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. It's too bad this big stage is blocking my view. Apparently some Popstar is performing. Seems kind of suspicious to put on a concert when the garden is poisoned. I'll just watch the concert from back here and look for clues while I sing along. What a perplex what a perplexing puzzle with a pop star and a performance in the poison park. A plum park. So many peas! 
Anyway, if you, you could probably have seen it for a long time, but over on the right here, we do indeed have our brother Loogie hiding away as the gatekeeper hinted at right at the beginning, which is something I completely didn't realize until my failed recording, dang it. But there we go, 300 coins. Not like we didn't need them, but that does mean we'll get a letter from him in Port Prisma. Which is the most important part, because who doesn't love our brother Lugi? Uh, um, I mean, is Lugi? Is that right? A anyway, yeah. Lugi's not the star of the show, so let's be on our way. Now I could just jump- oh, oh wait, no I can't, that ledge is too high. Dang it, dang it game, you fooled me again! I was gonna say, you could skip so much of this area, but sadly, the ledge is too hard to jump out of here. Now these bloopers are new enemies, but you could just hammer them. Or, you know, let's actually show them off, I guess. Fun fact, the more- if you don't hammer any of them, you actually fight five here at once. So, why didn't I go to fight them all at once, you ask? Well, because I want to show off their attacks, of course. And I only need one to do that. Bam, 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 five, two, I can't count. And then I lost it. There we go. Strong attack with some poison. Which I wish I didn't blow up block, but does it poison you? Can you get poisoned in this? Such interesting questions. Anyway, I have double cards and... Okay, I do have a double jump, so let's just use that. So yeah, as you could also see, I completely gloss over it. At the end of every turn, or beginning of every turn that isn't the first turn, you will take one damage if you are in the poison, so try not to stay in battles too long. And that said, one damage is nothing, and I don't want to miss that. Oh, health! I did not expect there to be health, but thank you again. I kind of needed it. Anyway, heading out the back here, it seems that we have many hedges. Hedges? We have fences and hedges and lily pads. Painting that in should let us shoot on up here into the sky. Nice. And grab this. And, okay, here's a guessing game, guys. As I paint in this flower, we have fire flowers, we have ice flowers, but what would you call a pink flower? And what will it turn into? If you were thinking fire, you were wrong! It's two ice flowers, and a new card, a big mushroom. I'm gonna hand that into the museum, so I'm not gonna know what it does for a long time. But as I'm, I'm probably gonna get this number wrong, but I believe it's 75 HP or something along that line? Future me, please help me out. What is the actual number? While well, I talked to this shy guy, all my friends got in buckets and went to the show without me. Now I'm gonna miss the show. Suck it, you're gonna miss the concert. Actually, no, that's a terrible thing. Concerts are so much fun. No, I'm sorry. You deserve better, shy guy. You really do. Concerts are great. <clears throat> Not that I've ever been to a pop star concert, per se, but I have been to... Orchestras? Is that it? Jeez, I need to do some more fun stuff. Just had to revert back into the music of this place. And as much as I'd love to go back there, that colour spot is just out of reach. Dang it. Hmm, I wish I could reach it. And there's a nice heart there. That's... Is that a big heart? That looks like a bigger heart. You're gonna do more than 30, are you? 40, that's the number I meant. No, never mind, just normal small heart. Well, back here we do have... I hope no one fishes out the coins I threw in this fountain. Why, what is this fountain? It's the fountain of truth. Toss a coin and whisper a wish. Well, Mario, being the capitalist that he is, does not know how to throw away his money, but he does know how to go get some, even if it's at his own risk of taking his life force away. I wonder if this is a metaphor for the real world in some way. Anyway, 
I've just stolen all, at least maybe all of the coins in there. Don't really want to spend too long in the poison. Then again, I guess if you grab that heart afterwards, go crazy. Dang, I thought I would have hit him. Ah, I really want enemy cards. I crave them. I need more. Well, while I head down here, we finally made it to where we've been aiming for so long. And that is this little bit up here, because you can't jump out of the poison into there. Until I hammer that box. Da 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 ding. Big iron jump! Not that I'm using it because it's going in the museum. This is not a surface you can paint. Do not be fooled by the bright colours. Anyway, without falling down, because that would waste a lot of time, I have to kill you! Sort of a mini boss. Also, what's a piranha plant doing here? Do, do you have a poison attack? I don't think so. Anyway, you're pretty easy to kill. However, I do believe that counts as spikes on top when its mouth is facing up like that. So I'm not gonna jump on you. I'm instead going to use two hell hammers because I have them spare for whatever reason. And this is a very bad use of a hell hammer, but I don't care. Great! That's not gonna kill, actually. I made a bad choice. I guess we'll get to see what a piranha plant does. Fire. It does fire. That's what it does. I swear it changes in every game. Its head is an upright though. Can you jump on these guys? I am... Oh, no, there's a card I can use. A big jump that's... Not coloured in all the way. Bam? Nope. Nope. It hurts you. Even when its mouth isn't showing in your face. Okay then, let's just use a few worn out hammers. I probably only need one at this point. But you're going down! Well, jeez, I killed it on a knife. Okay. That's so mean! The bucket that he wanted all that time just crushes him! Now, just the poor shy guy. Anyway, now that we have a bucket though, I believe we can join the performance. The concert that this pop star is going to show off, so let's find out all about it. Find the source of the fountain while we're at it too. And the poison perhaps? Well, let's just see what's going to go on here. I hope you guys are ready. Hurry up, the show's about to start. You only call me by moonlight. Bravo, bravo, what a good show. Bella's a bit past her prime, but she's still got the moves. My investigation of the concert... <laughs> Jazz hands are the height of entertainment. I mean, those hands were unnaturally jazzy. I've got to tell the captain about those jazz hands at once. As for you, why don't you go try to find that fountain? 
Toad number one of the Yellow Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Now if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain and sacrifice immediately. That was unexpected. I might have to pick that album up. The coast is clear, let's take a look around. Okay. Yeah, what a weird show. That was certainly something. But I agree with Huey. It was a good piece of music. Now, this seems to be blocking something, so let's hammer it down. There we go. It's the missing teapot. That looks quite like a thing, as do these balloons. So let's give him a good squeeze. Try not to hit my mic. You got balloons! Make things float into the sky and raise his voice by an octave or two! I mean, I can't raise my voice by two octaves, but I'm not even gonna try with one. Anyway, here we go. This is indeed the fountain of purity. Purity? Purity! Poor. Water flies from it. Clearly, that looks just like clean water to me. However, there must be something causing it to... Is that a tea bag I see? Hmm. Well, whatever's causing the poison, I'm sure we will figure it out in the next episode. Because there's a save point right here. So next time, we're gonna finally put all of these problems in Plum Park and the Dark Blue into rest. And find our way to the next big paint star, perhaps? We will see. With that, guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.